I'm beast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be like, no. Not you, Bumpkin. Oh, or that's funny. Or Don't put that in there. Don't put that in there. Very awkward for me to be on the opposite end of the camera, but I'm getting used to it. He's like, whose butt's right there? <laughs> well, I, don't, I can't butt see where my hand is. <laughs> like, she's sitting. I can't see so. where my hand is. She's sitting. <laughs> So when we hire people, it's super important that we hire the right people, not necessarily the people that are the most experienced. So we look for you who are the right personalities, and I look for things that, like, they're empathetic, they're excited, they love people, things like that that I can't teach you to do. So our whole staff interviews prospective candidates, uh, which I think is awesome because then everyone's on board with who we hire, everyone has yeah. a say. The girls loved it. They really took it serious. They, uh, they asked serious questions, more serious questions than a man and I did. They really did. Like they were extensive. They're like, if we're bringing someone in, she better be the right one. Yeah, yeah. and they were all worried about like who we were hiring and everything, And but it was great to have them a part of it. Mm -hmm. The King Crab Legs. Uh -huh. I thought you were going to like reenact the King Crab Legs. <laughs> I know it's like that. They were, they were just, I felt bad though. I didn't really play with those little babies alive. Oh! Hi the world. <laughs> I'm Siobhan. Um, I am a bombshell stylist. Hi, I'm Brittany. I am a stylist at Bombshell Bridal. Um, I work with brides and I'm hoping to work with bridesmaids. You'll hear more about that. Save the maids. Hashtag. Um, hi, my name is Deborah, also known as B-Day around here. I am a lead stylist here. I've been here for four years and I love every minute of it. Hi, I'm Sarah. Um, I've worked at Bombshell since August of last year. And here at Bombshell, I sell dresses to brides, obviously, um, and bridesmaids as well. My name is Pam. I do all the ordering and the receiving and the shipping. Hi, I'm Michelle. I do uh, mostly bookkeeping, and I let Amy and Amanda run everything. <laughs> it's the easiest that way, <laughs> especially when you're working with family. <laughs> hey, um, I'm Kira. That's me. Um, I am known for being incredibly awkward and saying ridiculously inappropriate things. Oh, uh, no, we just sat in the room with us having a whole discussion about sex the other day. Oh, we my were God. Like, it was so uncomfortable. We were like, she did you or Please, no. go. But she stayed, and we told her she could leave, and she, she did. Stayed. She stayed for the whole conversation. It was, she I must have been. clowns out. <laughs> Um, I started here about a year and a half ago, um, and I just fell in love with the place. It's one of those things where when you walk in, you can just sense the family atmosphere, and I knew I was home. So, I came to Bombshell actually for the first time as a bride myself. And that's kind of what drew me back to here and back to this industry. As, as a plus size woman myself, I remember that feeling of just being terrified that I was not going to find a gown and I wasn't going to find anything that looked beautiful or complimented my body or even worse, like nothing would even fit for me to see. But it was completely opposite. I worked with Deborah. She was actually my consultant before she became my friend. And she was amazing, and I found the most beautiful gown, and I loved it on my wedding day. I felt like a princess, I felt gorgeous, and I felt ready to enter the next chapter of my life. So after my wedding was over, and I moved on to this beautiful marriage I've started to build, um, I decided this is what I wanted to do. I wanted to be part of other people's stories and to help someone else have that experience. I'm probably the biggest Elton John fan on the face of this earth. I've seen him 17 times. Um, I love music, all kinds of music, and that's what's kept, that's what's got me through a lot of hard times in my life. My mom and I and my sister moved to Las Vegas in 2009 with my mom and lost, like I said, I lost my mom in 2013 and it, I took it so hard that I had to be put in a hospital for it. So Amanda, my sister Pam, and Mark came out and got me and that's how I came here. So that's what I'm saying about I thank Amanda a lot for basically saving me. Yeah, this job helped me. I don't know where I'd be without it, really. So I used to live in Vegas uh, with my mom and my sister. We moved from Michigan to Vegas. And Amanda decided to open up a bridal store. And about a month into it, um, she called me and said, Mom, can you come home because I need help. Um, she didn't anticipate it being as busy as it 
was in the first month. So I started working here in February of 2013. I am actually the longest standing consultant, stylist. I've known these girls for just over four years and they have become family. I have literally lived with Amanda and Rob at one point. Um, Amy and Dan have offered their home to me at one point. Um, they are the kind of people that when you are down and out, they're there to bring you back in and up. I also help with um, cleaning up and making the store look nice, like the window displays. I work on doing artistic things to the windows to make it more appealing for people who drive by and walk by. Um, as well as uh, pumping up our Instagram and our Facebook, trying to make things look beautiful so that people are like, oh, I'm gonna be there, I'm gonna be there with them. But yeah, so I've enjoyed it the entire time. I never would have thought I, in a million years um, that I would work in a bridal salon. I uh, have not really had very many relationships and for what they have been, it's never been like, oh, I wanna marry this person. So I just, I think that it was something Everybody took shock. Anybody that you knows me personally took that by shock. They're like, really? You wanna, you wanna go and do that? Okay. But it's more the girls. Honestly, everybody that works here is so much fun. Um, there's not a single day I don't go home with some sort of story of something that happened. Hey! Oh, we're doing it! As soon as I saw your Instagram post, I'm going to go buy some rum real quick. As soon as I saw your post that you were like with the pizza at Meyer, I'm like, I know what she's saying. See, my hair is this. I like yours. I like yours. I thought she meant like we're going to cry. I don't want to do this. I got all my makeup on. I know. That kind of freaks me out a bit. I was like, why is she passing out tissue if we're getting fired? Everyone, it's actually. We're done. I have a new staff showing up today. That's really good. Nice. Um, we've had this little concept brewing for a couple years now of doing a plus size boutique and ultimately we would like to be able to design our own oh my things. Gosh, I'm so ready. I have yes. them. I have them ready. Because we know what we want yes. to wear, what we're unable to find. We're ready. We're ready to do it. <laughs> so our kind of gateway to that is we're opening a plus size boutique, uh, just of all plus size clothing, stuff to wear to work, non bridal, obviously. So a <laughs> different concept from what we do at Bombshell. The store is called Liz Louise. And we're super, super excited about it. It's a way for us to keep that relationship with our customers who already love us going. Yes. It's a way for us to meet new ladies. And ultimately, it's a way for us to help women feel great and beautiful in their everyday life. Every Not day. just the one day yes. they're getting married, but in every day of their life. That is tray frustrating. Well, at least I got all this shit out. At least they fixed the ceiling in here. not yet finished, so there needs to be a little bit of work done. Just a little bit. I mean, as you can see, it's going along great. No, no, this is the finish. You guys are ready to shop, right? <laughs> see you guys are okay with this, right? So hopefully, fingers crossed, soon. Please send good vibes and yeah. prayers because we're hoping, hoping, hoping soon. <laughs> that looks like a different thing. <laughs> um, <laughs> 